So you think Chainsaw Man is the best anime this season? Get out of here! Bleach? Unsurprisingly, this has been a stacked as fuck season. There are great shows in every corner, and if you are especially an action fan, you're eating very, very well. <laughs> so let's set that aside for a second. What if I told you that the actual pick this season is not Chainsaw Man, not Mob Psycho, nor Bleach, but rather a cute girls doing cute things slice of life comedy? Okay, I would prefer if I were to not get a copyright claim. Bochi the Rock follows Hitori Goto, who is a teenager that is struggling with social anxiety and fitting in. Hitori has been trying to make friends ever since he was a kid, but due to her social anxiety, she hasn't been able to do so. Sound familiar? While watching TV one day, she comes across a band. And something resonates with her. Hitori decides to pick up the guitar on a whim, and after practicing for three years, she ends up being pretty good. Yet, despite that, she still hasn't made a single friend. At least that's the case until she ends up meeting Nijika, who is a drummer looking for a guitarist for her band. Seeing as how Hitori wants to join one, she reluctantly decides to get dragged along to a club, where she also meets Ryu, who is a bassist. Of CSM, this is how good plot looks like. Okay, if I'm being honest, if I were to say that Bochi has an outstanding plot, I'd be lying. But with shows like these, what usually makes you come back every week is the characters and the comedy. And oh boy, Hitor is a fighting gem. Her delusions make up a good chunk of the show's comedy, but even those aren't exaggerated to the point where she gets annoying, like certain other anime have done before. And of course there is more to her character than just being the comedic relief. She has her own goals and her own ambitions, which I think a lot of people might be able to relate to. At the end of the day, what Hitor is trying to achieve is to be able to make it big using her hobby. And I think that this is something that has crossed the minds of most people that have one. Anyways, let's talk comedy. It's difficult to have one gag as the epicenter of all your jokes, cause it can get boring or at worst, annoying. For a show that has a lot of episodes, having a running joke is not really an issue. I mean, what, you're going to be hearing the joke like, once every three episodes? It's not really a problem, but let's take a show like Engage to the Unidentified, that has 12 episodes. This series running joke is that this bitch makes sexual advances towards her sisters, cause it's super funny I guess. I love Japanese comedy. Every single episode does the same exact joke like 5 times. I binge this in 2 days, I had to listen to the same exact fucking- Bochi jumps around this issue by firstly not focusing entirely on the comedy. This is also a music anime. You learn quite a lot of stuff about how J-Rock bands work, and how ticket sales work, and how difficult and expensive it is to make an album. And the other way is by executing every single joke flawlessly. The creative team behind the anime seems to have understood quite well that repeating the same She has social anxiety, isn't it funny? joke every single episode would get boring. So by using visual gags and real life imagery and pretty funny voice acting, the jokes manage to stay fresh all the time. I'd even say that you end up laughing with the execution of the joke rather than the joke itself. Now let's talk a bit about the source material. Bochi the Rock is a 4 comma manga, which if you don't know looks something like the thing I have on screen now. The anime is very good at taking the manga panels and adding so much more flavor to them. A lot of the jokes work so much better in the anime just because of that. And of course it's a music anime, the performances look stunning. Just look at this, those are some really creative camera angles. And this doesn't just go for this one scene where they have a musical performance, there are so many great scene compositions in normal scenes too. Here they've done a great job with the cinematography, it genuinely looks really really good. So to wrap everything up, Bochi the Rock is a pretty good mix of music, comedy, finding yourself, opening up and trying new things. It's a pretty solid choice for people that enjoy CGTCT, pretty solid choice for people that enjoy music anime. If you want to check it out, it's got my recommendation. So what studio is making it again?